Since the first wave of primes in the founder's axis, they had been a philosophy on creating primes. It was clean, stylish designed, created to give off the feelings of purity with accents of gold, a uniqueness to other Warframes. We have frames like Valkyr, Excalibur, Mag, Loki, Nyx or Saren, but there are also other frames like Ember, Volt, Oberon, Hydroid or Vauban, who came with a different theme contrary to the usual expectations from players. These are created with a distinction of light versus dark. This is also something that some groups within the Warframe community has themed as a light versus dark primes. With the whole hype behind the Umbra frames lately, I decided to do some investigation and try to connect some of these themes to Warframe lore, but remember, this is just speculation. Apart from Excalibur Prime, Warframe didn't create a concrete proof of which Warframe was created first. However, the lore behind the Primes have helped in mending the timeline for this observation and this investigation. From what I have observed, there were Warframes before the initiation of the Zerman project, but it was regular soldiers and individuals within the Orokin Empire who have ascended beyond the common ranks of regular soldiers or regular officers. I believe the armor they wore are the prime looks we see today with the slick design and the golden portions. They are guards just like the temple guards within the Jedi Order and they were dispatched to different regions to finalize each Orokin conquest and therefore became the forerunners of the Orokin Empire. At the pinnacle of that greatness, the Orokin created a sentience for interstellar observation and conquest. They were designed and set for terraforming the Tau system. The retaliation of the sentience resulted in the beginning of the Great War for the Orokin. Many of the Orokin's finest warriors were lost in the process in battle, and the process of transference began as an alternate means and a resourceful means for combat. This will work as drones are used within the military and will result in less Orokin casualty. The child of this decision was the Zyraman project. The children became pilots to these now created or repurposed Warframes. The first designs were the creations from the dawn of the empire to mark the rise of a new age as the sun set upon the earth. They were created to exact order for the Orokin. The darker designs represented the dark days of the empire. The years when all orbs were eclipsed by the darkness and despair, the times when everything had to be sacrificed for the survival of the Empire itself. These frames were created with a sinister purpose, and that is one of the things that you will see in their designs. To destroy and wage war without emotions, the brutal, uncontrollable nature of Rhino can be seen, the chilling grasp of frost can also be experienced, shocking touch of electricity from Volt, and the Orokin watched as Ember scorched the earth. The words of Bayless during the Prime trailers tell which frame was created as a police for the Orokin, and which ones were bred to kill. The quote about Saren Prime speaks of redemption and purification, but in the same way if you look at Oberon's trailer, he sets a mark for the Orokin taking a different approach towards conflict with other factions. We can see justice transformed into revenge, just as light is eclipsed by darkness. Now this is my theory on the variations of primes and why they were created. Let me know what you think about this theory and if there is a possibility of it being canon. Thank you very much once again for watching this video, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.